Well, I'm here with Cindy Hudak. Cindy, thank you so much for having us. Thank you it's for coming again. great to be here. Thank uh, you. You always have a fun project for us. So um, tell us what we're gonna do today. So today we're going to make a charcuterie board. Okay. We're gonna start with a piece of pine wood and we're gonna use our fusion mineral paint. This technique that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and water down some chocolate paint. It almost does it like a stain or a wash on there. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water to our paint. Mix it up. Why don't we remind folks too while you're working about the fusion paint because folks might not know about it. So with our fusion paint, it is perfect for all of your DIY projects. You're painting furniture pieces, kitchen cabinets, old furniture pieces that you wanna update. It really works well with it. It goes on silky smooth. Now mm -hmm. this obviously is a watered down piece. Right. And the reason why I watered it down is I wanna give it a stained look. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna dress it up a little bit and we're gonna do a bit of a two-tone. So I'm doing this, like I said, in the chocolate paint. Mm -hmm. And then the other side, we're gonna go ahead and paint that with a cathedral taupe, which is a creamy white. So once we're done putting that on there, and this is just for the watered down part of the painting, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a rag and we're just gonna wipe it back lightly to get the excess water off of there and give it that pretty stained look that we're going for. And this is so just you, for particular this technique. Exactly, right. just this technique and that is with the watered down. Now you can use any color that you'd like. So you can do this with a white, if you wanna give it a white wash, mm -hmm. grays, blues, whatever color you chose, you nice. would be able to water it down and give it the same exact look. And of right. course, the darkness would come up on there. All right, so the next step is what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cathedral taupe and we're gonna put that on the other end. Now these are our sample sizes. We have the pint sizes as well, but the paint goes a long way. And depending on your project size, you may only need a little sample for that to do. And you didn't need any primer on this, right? You we did not right need a onto the board. Nope, just right onto the board. I love now, it. depending on the piece that you're working on, if you're working on a piece of furniture, if it's a dark piece of wood mm -hmm. and you're bringing it to a white, I always recommend using a primer just to make sure that there's no bleed through. Right. And this is one of the items that you offer in your classes, right? This is one workshops? of our workshop projects, yes. We also offer round serving trays. We have rectangular serving trays. We have some farmhouse clocks. Ooh, nice. We also have our farmhouse benches. We have a variety of projects Lots that you can of fun choose projects. from. Yes, yep. definitely. And of course, we use our fusion paint. So the purpose of the classes are really to get a feel for using the paint, some of the different techniques that you can use to distress and age your furniture, and you get to go home with a pretty fun project. Right? How life. fun is that? Yes. And all the materials you provide here. We provide all the materials, yep. yes. Nice. Once it's completely dry, we're gonna go ahead and and we are going to add some transfers to Ooh, our piece. This is something new. It is new. So we carry transfers by Redesign and they are basically just, just a little oh. sticker that you can transfer onto your piece. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and you'll just wanna cut around the others so that you can save them and use them for another project right. piece. Look at the Bless for Thanksgiving. Bless for Thanksgiving. There's some Get Cozy. There's a lot of different cute ones. And what you do is you peel the back mm -hmm. and you decide where you would like to stick them. I already had a vision since we split the board in half with the different colors. In this transfer, there was a little wood piece. So you stick it right where you would like it to go mm -hmm. and the kit comes with a little stick. So you really just wanna rub that on there and you'll get it on the edges. So what you'll do is you'll just pull it back slowly and you'll see how it sticks on there. Ooh, the big reveal. The big reveal. <laughs> I love it. And then I, I just that. love these little pumpkins and we need to have it festive for Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. the holidays and our fall season. What you'll wanna do is just kinda hold, hover it over without sticking it down because right. once you stick that piece on there, it's stuck in the same process. And like I said, slowly pull it back because you'll find some pieces will pull back with you and you'll just right. wanna rub them back down so you don't pull the transfer So take off. Your, you always have to take your time, right? Yes. And it looks like you could put stencil over stencil. You can. Yeah. A lot of the florals that they come, they'll come individual flowers and it's really up to you to build your bouquet oh, the way you want it to. So you can do them on drawers coming up the sides, really piece it where you want it to go. Nice. 
since we put the transfers onto mm -hmm, the board, mm -hmm. we're gonna wanna protect them with Tough Coat. Due to time restraints, I'm not gonna do it because we're supposed to wait about 24 hours to allow the paint to fully dry on right. there. But the process to put it on is you just saturate your sponge with um, some water, wring it out, and then put it into the Tough Coat. And you'll just wipe it on there straight back and forth mm -hmm. like that. And then that will put that extra protection on there that you need so you can use this board. Right. So once the Tough Coat is all dry on there, you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, put on your handles. Oh, all righty. So and we oh, are finished. Oh my gosh. Who would not wanna put this out for a party or for your family or for a special occasion or give us a gift? We're a gift shop that's located in Mountaintop, mm -hmm. and we sell a variety of products, and one of the product lines that we sell is our Fusion Mineral Paint. So we carry so many different product lines. We have jewelry, fashion accessories, mm -hmm. candles. We offer some gourmet food, Stonewall yes. Kitchen we carry, which is one of our populars that would go well with our charcuterie Absolutely. board. Absolutely. For more information, you can find our workshops on our website, which is boxesandbowsgifts.com. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We are Boxes and Bows Gifts and More, located at 134 North Mountain Boulevard in Mountaintop. Thank you so much, Cindy, for having us today and showing us how to make this beautiful board. Thank you so much for coming. You're very welcome.